Greetings cadets! In this video, we will be going over tips for being a standardization officer, or as it's commonly called, a stando. Real quick, we will be going over being proactive, planning and communicating early, attention to detail, working with other flights, and practicing good followership. Be proactive in finding things to standardize. Don't wait to be told by the commander to start planning and coming up with ideas. For example, I was a stando once when we were told to write our names on a piece of paper for pictures. Immediately, I started thinking about the font, writing utensil type, capitalization, formatting, and more. Once you have thought things through early, start communicating it early. The longer people have to internalize the standardization, and the longer you have to make sure cadets are doing things right, the better. Even if you have not been told to standardize something yet, Still let people know, because when they do tell you that it needs to be standardized, it's probably too late to communicate. Like the time, I thought everyone knew how to fold their jackets properly, but they didn't. And in the 30 seconds we had to put our gear down and be in formation, I did not have enough time to explain it to them. Attention to the tiniest detail is critical. This picture shows just a few of the things you can get called out on for a single backpack. There's plenty more, and it increases with the number of items or people that will be doing this standardization. Remember, if it exists, it can be standardized. Make sure you're checking everything. Work with the other flights in your squadron. Chances are, as you get started, you will only need to think about your flight, but the time will come when you are placed into the squadron, and the less change required, the better. And from a personal experience, if two of the flights of the three in the squadron have the same standardization and yours is the flight that does not have that, swallow your ego and switch to the other two flights standardization. Finally, make sure you're using good followership. Some commanders will want you to run standardization through them. Some will want you to just tell everyone. Some will want to give you directions on what they want done. Some will give you free reign. Remember, they are the commander and it is your job to support them. If they micromanage you, let them know respectfully. So, in conclusion, we have talked about being proactive, planning and communicating early, attention to detail, working with other flights, and good followership. Here are the references for the images used in this briefing. Remember, this is not a comprehensive review of all things a standardization officer should perform, only a starting point. If you have any other suggestions or ideas, please leave them in the comments section below. And as always, the views expressed in this video do not necessarily reflect the official stance of the U.S. government, the U.S. Air Force, or Air Force ROTC. Aim high, cadets!